people can hear me, right? No, use the mic. Use the mic. The question for you is like, is it possible to create this on a more ongoing basis? So instead of being the Hanky Code one time film, how about the Hanky Code that is always a call for people to express themselves in the different colors of the Hanky Code on, I don't know, semi, on an annual basis or every two years, there's like a bunch of filmmakers that get together like we did, you know, like, we weren't even in the same city or whatever. We just picked the collar and went for it. You know, like I was like, "What? Nobody picked red? That's absurd, right?" Yeah, you know, that's like for sure. nobody picked red. I was like, "Okay, let's do the red." Then. I mean, we have to do it. I mean, it's a lot of pressure. But we'll do it. Uh, you know, so like, something like that, right? Like you know, where this continuation is like to create. I don't know. I don't know if you have the time to even do that. It was very generous of you to like organize us all together to actually put this and like well show it in festivals and so on. But it sure would be cool to see like what other people think about the different colors of the rainbow of Hankies, you know, other than us, you know, and more people and whatever. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to see other people even just take this same concept and do it over and over again. Right. I mean it's like it's kind of like an exquisite corpse or one of those like kind of like art like um, exercises where you know you're kind of like continuing a story or doing something like that. So <laughs> <laughs> coming from. <laughs> And if you do make one of those, please submit to periwinklecinema.com. We will show it in one of our monthly screenings in San Francisco. Yay. Good question. Uh, this was the first time I've seen the film, or a lot of the films. Um, so I think it was just, it's really rad to see like so many different aesthetics and people just touching on different politics. I mean, that's, and seeing how other people like are political and go about being political. I think for me, like that's the most like motivating thing out of this whole experience. I don't know if you guys have seen the film before, but. Um, I really enjoyed that it was sort of like a group of people who don't necessarily come from the same parts of art. Like, there's people who are not video artists who made a video for this, and like lots of animation, and like I work primarily in porno type stuff, and other people don't. So it's really cool to be a part of a thing that's so like, um, where's my art school words? So like uh, interdisciplinary. And it was really nice to see what all the different artists came up with. Um, and a challenge, like to sort of have an exercise. Like, lime green was not my first choice, but I'm really glad that I had it now. And it was, it was just a really fun exercise, and I thought it brought this kind of like cool little artist collective thing together. I was definitely blown away when we got a chance to see uh, all of the films as they came in uh, from a curatorial standpoint. Um, I, you know, I, I, I kind of figured that maybe there might be something that wasn't. Quite but the bar was set pretty high, and it just stayed there um, through everything that we that we were seeing and everything that was coming in. So I'm quite pleased to be a part of this project. I'll kind of speak to that. Um, I live in the sticks, and I haven't made a film in a decade, and so it was really nice for me to jump into this project and. You know, all of a sudden, like, we'll end in this great company. Um, yeah, so this was actually funded by um, the Queer Arts Festival um, grant that's called Creating a Queer Community. And um, the year before that, Prairie People Cinema put on a program called Undissing Our Abilities, and we were here at Mix last year showing that. Um, but yeah, and that, with that program too, I think there was like a lot of new work that came from it. And um, so when, in the midst of just curating, because we do like a monthly screening in San Francisco, it's nice to also make room and make space for people to make new work and make that possible and, and make that um, happen.
happen. So that was a really exciting thing about this project as well. Um, I haven't seen any of the other films before, and it's exciting to be part of this collection. I think, for me, it was like a tonal shift in the work that I usually make is quite depressing. Um, so, th this was a bit more playful and campy, and um, yeah, I really wanted to... I was really concerned about safe sex with inanimate objects. <laughs> and I really wanted to, as KB said, give new meaning to clutching one's pearls. So, <laughs> so I just had fun with it. I hadn't seen anyone else's work, but it's, wow, what a great compilation. I hadn't seen anybody's work either. That was the first time. Um, I was told that it was for people that saw it before, our stuff, which is a minute and 45 seconds, and I probably talked more about this film than the duration of the film, but like, uh, it was strange. I like the fact that our film was silent in the middle of non-silent films, and that was done deliberately. Um, I liked so much that like the different perspectives were so amazing and I hadn't seen and it was surprising and it was exciting and it was hot. Like I you know, I got horny about it. You know, like <laughs> so I, I thought it was I was like, oh yeah, there's other people, they're like doing all the shit that I really like. So that was awesome. I love the idea of the exquisite corpse and it was amazing to be like in awesome company. So that was my do you have anything to say about this? <laughs> oh, also we liked our film, which we kind of didn't before. <laughs> like, we, we kind of like this thing. <laughs> I think there's always like the difference between like being, because no matter what kind of art you make, you spend a lot of time staring at this thing, like laboring, and like, man, like our computer crashed so many times. And, like, by the end of it, you're just like, I've been in this room every weekend for like a month. I hate this. Fuck this. Why do I do this? So it's always lovely when you get to see your work be with other really amazing, perverted, weird stuff. You're like, oh, cool, I have community. And then actually get to like see people like be late and enjoy your work. I think that's like the power of showing your stuff. You're like, oh, I spend all my time by myself. And then once a year I come out and I'm like, oh, you guys, you like that. Cool. And we have some point. Cool. Well, um, any more questions from the audience? I have a I have a suggestion. Okay. At the uh, film fest film fe film fest they used to have here, you used to give ratings to films that were just standard length. Now I think I would love to have a page with just some reminder of what each one of your films were about, and a little square where I could give it a number from zero <laughs> or minus ten to plus ten, so and to see th this that way you would get feedback from the audience. And I think there would be extreme differences about some of some of your. And I think I think it would be very flattering for people to to discover that that their their film was almost universally just got a plus ten, and you know where others got zero and tens. I mean, so it would give you an idea of the reaction in the wider community you work. But then again, maybe we don't really want to know what people think of us. Well, I kind of like that it's all one thing and that it, everyone stands together in yeah. your so yeah. that's something that I think is really yeah. awesome about it. Mix has never given prizes and we have no intention of ever giving everyone prizes. Everyone yeah. I'm not thinking of prizes, I'm thinking of feedback. <laughs> feedback. Not prizes, feedback. Feedback. Yes. yes. Feedback is always appreciated. Um, we love Siobhan's I, I, movie too. Yeah, Siobhan's movie was awesome, wasn't yeah. it? I know, I wish she was here. I know. <laughs> um, before I step go away, or before we go away, I really want to get a picture of all of us on my phone that you have um, for Lisa, because I know you're locked out. So um, give me one second. 